Hello and welcome to Nova Lands, Emilia's Mission. This is a prequel, a prologue to the uh, to the game Nova Lands, uh, formerly known as Nova Islands, which I played on my channel a few months ago, maybe five months ago or so, uh, back in the late spring, early summer, sometime four or five months maybe. Um, and uh, they they decided to release this game as a prequel to. Uh, introduce you to the story about the the character who came to Nova Lands and was there and had established the uh, the store the market area there uh, before before our main character in Nova Lands arrives so uh, this is a blind play I have only just launched it um, I'm, I'm gonna run off of my ability to control the game from the main game uh, uh, so we're going to completely play this blind Let's go ahead and uh, jump in and select a new world. There we go. So the gameplay, from what I understand, is... Well, then. Uh, it's very loud, uh, but also it's very similar to the, to the main game, so we shouldn't have a problem with that game. I'm going to turn the sound effects down. Or maybe it'll quiet back down once we get in here. Yeah, I think we need to turn it down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, WC to walk around, of course, we know that. Right click to st extract resources. Okay. Same stuff as before the stone, the uh, tree things here. Uh, or the bushes, I mean. Um, iron ore. Looks like we can't extract the trees, at least not right away. And we're gonna have to probably make some of the similar stuff as we learned how to make in the main game. But the uh, the advantage to this this prologue is to, as I mentioned, introduce you to the story of the game, as well as to um, uh, kind of tie it over while they were finishing the story of the main game. And it's an interesting choice that they decided to come in here and, uh, you know, make basically a whole separate story, a whole separate game. I mean, it's all done in the same engine, the same whatever. So it's not really that complicated, but still. Uh, let's see, charcoal or modular bricks, what we need. Charcoal to make modular bricks. So there was a command. Uh, let's see. Q to add recipe. There we go. Just kind of go around here and keep extracting stuff. We also picked up another recipe here for the oxygenator. Uh, one of the funny things with this game is, it, I always see you get branches from those bigger ones when you extract them, and then they but they don't give you, um, but they don't disappear, so they're kind of like a respawn type of thing. Oh, I forgot we can extract our ship too, and we should. There's a bee or a butterfly or something. I guess it's a bee. Let me get that. Get those berries from you. Uh, Q. My inventory's full. Okay. Uh, let's see. And I want to do another one of these. I will put it down right here. And I will choose the modular brick recipe. Wait a minute. What do you need? Oh, charcoal. Right. Uh, let's drop one of these. And then we can add that in. Doggo. Okay, is that, that all? We just pet the doggo? Yeah, we just pet the doggo. Okay. I'm guessing that plays a bit of a part later. I'm going to skip the iron for now, I think. But I do want to pick up the water from these uh, water branches things here. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, the dog follows you. Interesting. Um, oh, charcoal. Right, again, charcoal. Again with the charcoal. Uh, let's not put those down. Can we just do this? Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, maybe we make this. We need that one iron again. Let's put these down then. 
And no, I want to pick up this. Why can't I pick that up? Hmm. Interesting. Why is it not picking that up? Interesting. Yeah, I need to pick this up, but it's not letting me pick it up. Did I screw up by, by dropping it? I guess so. Oh, there it goes. Weird. Okay, here we go. Uh, the oxygenator you kind of want to put somewhere near the middle of your island, so probably right where the ship crashed. Ish. And we'll just drop all the water we have into there. And then we can do research. We'll put that next to... There we go. And we need 20 bricks. Let's go ahead and set that milestone. Uh, let's see. More charcoal. Chugging away. Let's go ahead and pick some more of this. We need some stone pretty soon, too. So we can get that. All your resources respawn on the island, so that makes it easy. So it's kind of, you know, a forager-like game. If you didn't see the... Uh, the demo playthrough that I did, or the alpha, or the whatever it was, the preview that I played a few months ago of the main game, uh, it has a lot of, of aspects of, of games like Forager, but in a sci-fi setting, uh, such as this. All right, to add a bit more of that, add a bit more of that, and let's go up here and go to here, and let's unlock mass production. Now we can make our own iron and copper ingots. Uh, the next thing I guess would be the jetpack or the explorer needs. This is a radar, workbench, and med kit. I think we'll do the jetpack first. Yeah, we'll pin that on there. And we want to do another furnace now. So, because that's where the uh, iron ore and uh, copper ores are made. Let's go like right here. We're probably gonna need another furnace for um, for charcoal too. Start with iron ore. Yeah, we need charcoal. So, uh, how much do we need for another furnace? Oops. Uh, that in there. We probably can ease off on this one even. Um, but let's see. Furnace is 10 stone. One of the other nice things is you can move around and it picks up the stuff automatically as you move past it so you can you can make your you can you can keep working on your different things while you are moving around yeah definitely need more more um, charcoal going maybe even a third one you need a lot the funny thing with the oxygenator in this game is you don't need oxygen until you make the oxygenator and then you all of a sudden need oxygen um i mean i get it for a game from the gameplay perspective because they don't want you to they don't want to cost you running out of something um and not knowing it i guess in that initial few minutes um they want to be brutal um but on the other hand the, the kind of logic of it is a little bit uh, loose even for game logic All right, pick that up, pick that up, and come back here. We'll pick that up when we get this, and then we can do the uh, jetpack research. Here, research. Right, now we can jump dash around and hop between islands. Let's do the explorer needs one. Oh, 
Not sure how I managed to put in a weird number, but it's okay too. Uh, let's see. Let's go find some more iron, maybe. We can pick up some stone along the way, I guess. Doesn't hurt. We'll have to go pick on those bees eventually, but we, we, we don't need them right now. I'm interested to see how this this game works uh, compared to the other game in terms of like uh, the world and how the how the world is laid out and ex exploring the world and things like that. Uh, can I put these down? I don't really need them that much. There's a boar, so they're all still here. Everything's still here, like before. One of the things we learned from the other game is when that bee's nest is up to uh, four little eggs in it, that's when... That's when we want to uh, move out and and uh, try and uh, take take it. All right, we get the radar, which discovers new biomes nearby. The workbench used to make important supplies like bots and med kits, and the med kit. All right. Uh, the automation gives us the collector bot, which is useful. Uh, and the deposit area stores items. I would like to have them both. Uh, so we'll just set one, and then we'll do the other one. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Yeah, it's kind of weird how it will take some items sometimes, but not always. That's our oxygen running out. Right thing would be good. There we go. Uh, we need to get some more water. Okay, we'll go up here and get this one. And that's the uh, the blue bar you just saw connecting me is the oxygenation. Uh, if we get too far away from it on the island, it'll actually um, give us that bar telling us, hey, you're, you're disconnected from the oxygenator now. Uh, your distance is too far. And then you can... Um, you can come closer again to reestablish that link. I can't remember what the berries are actually used for. I think you f maybe you feed them to the boar or something. I don't remember. What do we have in here? All right, we need to. Uh, we probably should do some of that research. I'm not going to bother picking up any more berries till we have something to use them for. I can probably ease off on the stone too, since I have now 44 of it. Look all this up. And that, we have one. Um, let's put a couple more of these in here. I'll let these sit on the ground for now. Uh, why don't you take one more here? There we go. Collect all that up. And then we need to build uh, the research processor. Wait, didn't we just pick? Yeah, we have that built already. Uh, workbench and the radar, which we need iron for the radar. So let's do, uh, should we do the research or the workbench? Well, we're not gonna be able to do, let's do the workbench first. There. Now, of course we need more iron. Oh, the irony. We could also use um, some additional, some of that storage too. So maybe I should do that one first. Put this down. Also, the uh, jetpack. Right. And I guess it won't let us travel between islands until we have the, uh, the radar up. So we should probably do that. Which, that took... Three irons. So, yeah, we have to get moving on. Oops, I didn't mean to take that. Sorry. Sorry, B. I want those, though. And those... And those. And this. And we can do this. Nope. Wrong wrong table again. Wrong machine again. Refill. I have some leftovers too. Alright. Iron. Drop that. 
don't think we need the water on hand. But I do need more sticks. I need to drop the water again. There's our third iron. Oh, I put it all in here, didn't I? Yeah, let's do a control click. I'll put it in there instead. That way we can double time it here a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, build the radar is here. I really didn't want to steal that, but I stole it anyway because you knocked it out on the ground. I would like for you to fatten up your beehive. That's why I'm letting you take them. Oh, you're actually just about there. Actually, I don't need that either. I will leave it alone then. Let's take these. Yeah, see, it's ready now. So we can actually attack it uh, and extract those golden eggs. Um, I vaguely recall there's some reason why you... Yeah. It's a queen bee now, and I think she goes and establishes a new hive. Um, and that's why you don't extract those golden eggs. Um... But it's up to you as to what you need. If you need the golden eggs for something, then by all means extract them. But otherwise, letting it form a queen and uh, coming back to it later is... Uh, and having you know more to be able to get later is a nice option. Uh, let's see. I should... Probably drop the, the bricks. Here we are. Wonder if there's actually research in this one or not. It doesn't look like it, because I think it was on the escape menu. Or I mean uh, upgrades. That upgrades tree that the game had uh, on the original game when we played it. Or the, the base game, or the... Whatever you want to call it. I thought it was on the escape menu. It's not on, it's not on tab, either. Tab and the escape do the same thing. So maybe they aren't in this? What if they took them out of the, the main game? Uh, let's see. Let's drop... Well, let's drop these in here first. And I think I'm just going to drop these on the ground. And we'll pick up those iron, and we'll come over here and research automation. And press and hold. There we go. Uh, so we got the, the bot antenna, which is used to configure and manage bots on one island, and the collector bots, which collect resources. And what did you want, radar? Oh, we can unlock, right, that's how we get, yep, that's how we unlock the islands, we unlock the islands at the radar. I forgot. Uh, we don't want this stuff right now. More of this. And more of the iron. And that's why I haven't even started with the copper smelting yet. But we don't have any to begin with. And uh, we don't really need it right away. I think we get it on the next island. Because you have to get it somewhere. Yeah, see there's the new colony here and they're going to keep uh, keep expanding as they can uh, we might need some more oxygen pretty soon like in the oxygenator it's down to one green box there so let's go down here feed these in Okay, and then how much does the radar cost? Oh, just the one? Okay, then you can have this back. And I will, or sorry, not the radar, the antenna. The bot antenna. We'll put that up right here. Pick up some more of this. Okay, so we could either unlock the new land, or we could build a 
bot with the collector bot here. The med kits are what use those eggs. And they also use the berries. That's what they use. Um, so, uh, but I think before we do the collector bot, I want to have the storage researched. And that for that, we need two uh, iron. And we could also unlock this land here for one iron. Um, but let's wait momentarily, I think. Do we get another one? And in the meantime, we can collect a little bit more iron and stuff. Because I would like to get... I think I'd like to unlock that... Uh, the storages first. And uh, don't shoot the boar with your, with your laser here, either your extractor. Otherwise, uh, you might have a bad time. Set these up, and then hopefully we'll have at least one more made. We can go to work. Yep, we have two down there. Okay. One, two. One, two. One, two. I'll drop these. And then we can do that research. Deposits. And so the rest of the next research, we get extra inventory. That actually might be useful to spend too really soon. Uh, and then automation. Um, it's going to require copper. And I think after that, everything requires copper or titanium, which is copper, iron, ore. Don't think too hard about that. I probably should just drop the berries. Maybe even leave them for the bees. I mean, yeah, I can make a med kit or two, but do I really need more than that? Happy little bees. Okay, let's go feed the machines here. And then this one. Oh, it's full. It's full. Holy crap, is it full. Alrighty, well, I guess we don't need this for a little while, then. And, uh... Here we go get some water. I also should probably make a collector bot now that we have the... Yeah, let's make a collector bot. Let's also put down a deposit area. Um, I would like this to go... Let's see. Right there. And I would like this to be storage for... And you don't really... Can't really set these uh, storages. Later you can. But for now, the way to set the storage is to just say... Hey, put you know these items in here by actually putting the items in there. Uh, and then we need to come over here to the antenna. And put the bot we have in the empty slot. And we want it to collect you know, something. Let's say these juice trees. And I want you to deliver it to the uh, the deposit area. And now that's all that's actually going to do is collect the trees, deliver them here, and then we actually have to come over here and uh, pick them up from here. But by setting, by putting four different things in this, then the bot will only collect a full stack of that item, and then it'll actually kind of stop um, versus, you know, going, going berserk on it. Um, uh, like we've kind of been doing. Uh, let's unlock this island first, I think. Yeah, we can go over there and explore it now. It does have copper, as expected. And uh, then the next thing we'll do is this extra inventory research. Once we have a couple of more uh, iron saved up. Um, and make sure you are full. Uh, take half of this. Half of this. Need those in. And then we can go... Actually, I should probably make sure this is full. Yep, it's full. Okay. And then we can come over here and we can explore. Now, as soon as we disconnect, as soon as we leave this island... Wait. It's out of it's out of water. I need to go refill it. Before we go over there, I need to refill it with water. 
working on it. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so that'll last us for a few minutes um, and while we get that other iron. So you can see right away there's copper here. Uh, the boars are charging at the trees, which means that they are... Oh, they eat the tr they eat the twigs. That's right. Let's collect some of this water here, too. Uh, they, eat the they eat the twigs uh, and they eat the berries. Uh, okay, so they eat anything. Perfect. Uh, so we'll probably collect the copper from over here. Actually, we'll definitely collect the copper from over here. Uh, we could either smelt it here or we could take it back with us and smelt it back at the home. Uh, if we smelt it here, we gotta, you know, either make or bring some uh, poo too. We, can, we need to get the poo. Uh, we'll wait on the poo. Hopefully the dog doesn't need the poo. Um, we either have to make, you know, like smelting over here and things like that, or we could just uh, bring that uh, okay. copper back with us. And it might even be useful eventually to put a bot over there to collect that and um, and have it, you know, sent back. But for now, let's unlock this because that gives us more inventory space. We now have eight spaces down here. Uh, let's see, half of this should be enough. Oops. And you have, yeah, I screwed up. That's fine. Uh, it'll get it'll get figured out at the end. Uh, so we need to let's see. We need to mine that. Um, we need to mine that copper. So I think we should start with that. And then we'll have to come over here and build a uh, another furnace. Did you establish another colony, or have you just not had any luck with berries so far? Well, I think there were just two copper nodes at this point. Sorry, Boris. Uh, but I do want the poo. Oh, there's a few. There's a few. Uh, poo is used as fertilizer when we get farming later on. I think. It makes sense, at least. But I'm pretty sure I remember that specifically. And the more the boars eat, the more poo you get. So uh, letting them eat the berries and the twigs is actually a good idea. But you also can't avoid right now... Um, I think later there's a there's an option to, to, to change it, but you can't avoid right now um, making um, or picking up anything you, you find on the ground. So uh, let's see. Let's build a another furnace. We need ten stone for that. Uh, I will put away. Come here, there we go. This and pick up half of the stone for now, and uh, we will make another furnace for copper. I'm going to start it here and then just kind of move them that way and then make the iron go this way. Um, let's do a recipe for copper and then we can do one, two, three, four, five. And I can put in some of these. I can take out some of these. There we go. And I'm already full. Uh, that's fine, though. We plenty of stone. Some iron. Let's go see if we can find some more copper. Yep. It comes back pretty fast. And um, each item has a different stack size, so you may have... Um, you know, I think it was it was twenty for the for the coal or the charcoal or whatever, but it's uh, it's obviously higher than that for this uh, for the water. I think it's higher than that for the iron or the ores too. I think they're like fifty. Water might be fifty as well. I think the bricks are really high. I think they might be the highest item, high stack size. All right, and then can I put like? All of that in there, great. Uh, we probably need to do more. Yeah, let's set up some more of this. Uh, control take most of this. That's fine. Partial's fine. 
It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we don't really need to make a med kit. Uh, we could do another collector bot here to collect something else. Uh, I would want to do another storage first, though. And those took, what, 10 of these bricks. Uh, so we would need to pick up some of this to make some more of these. That's probably good. And we can put these back. Shift to transfer all items. I need to remember that. Uh, let's see. Workbench. We have the radar. We have that. We have that. So the next thing really is um, automation, which is the other bots, the logistics bots. And they will actually start maintaining these machines for us. So they would be a good thing to do as soon as that copper is done, actually. Uh, was I going to build these out with these? Oh, yes. the Another storage area for things like ores. Hey, what happened? Oh, I pet the dog again. Yeah. Uh, storage area, which is here. Or deposit area, excuse me. So these also can't be built where the trees are. That's fine. Put one over here. And then, again, we can't configure the storage here, but we can do... Um, we can fix it on our own. Ah, we have the automation. The stuff we need for automation now. Great. Let's come over here and unlock this. Great. And then... The, other, the logistics spot needs another copper here, so we'll have to wait for that. Uh, in the meantime, I think I want to do another collector bot. So we'll collect that. There we go. Um, each one of these antennas only has three slots. And you can only build one antenna per island. I can't remember if you can unlock more slots or not. But it might be worthwhile uh, later... Collecting, collecting bees, collecting yeah, corpses specifically, but uh, it might be worthwhile later to collect um, to you know have one, each island or whatever reserved for each type of thing. Um, that's kind of up to you on how you want to facilitate everything, but uh, that seems like it's a logical idea, or one or two things maybe, and then have those production for those things being on those islands as well. Do that. Uh, we could reserve some slots in here for things like this and this. And I don't know what else. We have our cop. Oh, we need those bricks, though. We need those bricks. We have them back. So they don't fill it up with, with ore, but it'll be fine if they do. Uh, let's see. Let's do one of these. And then these just work, I believe. I don't think they have to have anything set, but they just you just set them up. Uh, you can tell them, you know what you don't want them to do if you don't want them to do one of these things, but I think it makes sense to have them doing a little bit of everything. Oh, I can put the water in here. That's a good idea. Uh, we can put the bricks in there now and see the logistics bot will run around and do that. So one, excuse me, one logi bot per island is a good idea. And then I guess two collector bots doing two different things. Um, this island can, can just be sticks and iron. Maybe the copper island can be copper and stone. Things like that. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's see. Advanced production gives us uh, improved furnace. Uh, and it stores its own output. And it also gives us the ability to make steel. I'm sorry. Steel is an iron and copper alloy. It's not uh, titanium or whatever I said. So that's obviously the next thing we need to do because we can't make steel yet to, to set to make these. And this one must be locked uh, either because we haven't unlocked this yet or it's part of the prologue here, which could be as well. Uh, so we need to have a bit more copper going. Let's go see if we can mine a little bit more. I just earned an achievement called Build Build. You'd also need an island to gather water, um, water, stone, and um, uh, berries, maybe. Um, there are combat bots, so you might want that too. Uh, there's other resources later in the game that may be locked in this demo. Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, see? I timed it. Look at me. Uh, let's see. You might be full. Yeah, you are. Okay, just put that in there then. We'll let the Logibot fill it out, but for now, that should work. And let's do... I think I'll put the last one in here, but it's full, so I can't. So I can't. 
goes in there. Uh, that can almost all go in there. This goes in here. Poo goes over there. And it, you got a nice long reach here too, which is really nice. There we go. Okay, so we have the next advanced production ready to go here. Let's research that. Improved furnace and uh, steel. So this the improved furnace is going to cost us six stone and six building blocks. Yeah, the storage is full. Let's all be surprised. Oh, the Logibot is keeping this these things going too. Forgot about that. Uh, let's do. Oh, now now that we have a list logistics too. We can we can choose each deposit thing for a specific item. So if you would like to have now you can have like one. Um, one deposit for each item instead of having them split like this if you want to not do what I'm doing and, and you know, breaking things apart. Uh, let's put the steel furnace, because it's huge, uh, down here someplace. And uh, I guess we'll make... You can make all the other things at it, but I guess we'll make steel here. And you can limit the output stack size, too, so that you... Um, Oh, this tells you what's in the out. Yeah, so you can limit how much comes out if you don't want to have a bunch uh, stored up. And then by also limiting these, then you can um, kind of um, restrict what the different uh, storages are used for, and then you don't overwhelm your, your inventory here. Uh, the only other thing we should potentially do is unlock another island. But I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll pause here. Uh, we'll end this episode here, and we'll come back in the next one, and we'll unlock these other two islands. We'll do some more research. I suspect this is all we're gonna get is this here. This this not question marks, um, but I could be I could be wrong. But we may only get these three left here, uh, which is data analyzer, extractor tower, transporter arm. That's gonna be the good one, and uh, energy rifle to pew pew things like uh, the bees and the and the boars. That might be the last things we actually get to do in this prologue, but we'll see. So two episodes sounds like a good run. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.